In this T's math example, we're going to look at solving a quadratic equation using the square root method. I'm gonna be doing two of these this week. I'm gonna start off with what I would consider a more basic one, the one that you see here, to lay the foundation, to lay the groundwork. We will see a slightly more complex one tomorrow. And a very similar example comes from T's math live session number one. I recommend you check that session out. Now we'll break it down for you step by step, but before we do that, let's think about what this equation is saying. We're taking some number, x plus three, we're squaring all of that, and it needs to be equal to 25. Now, before you start moving things around and all that, think about this. Let's suppose x was two. If you substitute two in for x, you would have two plus three, that gives you five, and you square that five, that means five times five, and don't you get 25. That means two is a solution to this equation but that's not the only solution. What about negative eight? If you substitute negative eight for x, negative eight plus three is negative five. When you square negative five, that means negative five times negative five, that also gives you 25, right? So we have two solutions here. We said two would work and negative eight. So how do we solve this by doing steps? You need to get this squared thing by itself on one side, and we already have that done for us. Notice on the left side of the equals, everything is getting squared, and the opposite of squaring is to take the square root. Think about it. The opposite of adding is subtracting. That's how you cancel out when solving equations. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. That's how you can cancel out when solving equations. The opposite of squaring is to take the square root. And that is how you can cancel out things when you're solving equations. Now we did take the square root of both sides. Look at what we have now. Recall the square root and the square cancel each other out. So we're left with just this x plus three here, but be careful right here. The square root of 25 is technically a positive or a negative five, because I mentioned earlier, positive five. If you take five times five, you get 25. But also if you take negative five times negative five, you get 25. So you have two values here, which leads to two equations. We have x plus three equal to the positive five. We also have this x plus three equal to negative five. Now from here, we're gonna subtract three from both sides, both in this equation and this equation. Subtracting three from both sides in this one, x equals two, cause five minus three gives you two. There's one of those solutions that I mentioned at the beginning. And if you subtract three from both sides in this equation, negative five minus three, you get negative eight. There is that second solution that I mentioned at the beginning. This was actually a nice example, and it's all because of this square root of 25. That's a nice number. These can get slightly more complex. Stay tuned for a video covering one like that.